Somali waters have the potential to support some of the highest fishery production in the world. Despite this, the domestic fishing sector in Somalia is relatively small and underdeveloped. It's very hard. It's a long way the local, to train the local people, from nomadic people to the fish, fishing people. It's a very hard, it takes a time. Uh, our obstacle is uh, we need more skilled fishermen. And also we are using, uh, maybe uh, uh, 60 years ago, 70 years ago, uh, uh, the equipment is of the fishing. The consumers, they are now increasing, increasing now, day after day. Maybe in the end of this year, maybe uh, in, in the local people, they, we will supply uh, uh, seven, eight times per day. Because the people, they are coming, coming, they're fast coming. With growing interest in Somali fisheries, it is imperative that we understand the current health of fish stocks to expand fishing in a responsible way and promote long-term food and economic security for Somalis. The state of Somali fisheries is poorly documented and a full scientific stock assessment is not possible with the available data. To create the most comprehensive assessment of Somali fisheries to date, our report overlays data from a variety of sources, including catch reports, media reports, and satellites. Somali artisanal fishers catch about 40,000 metric tons of marine life each year. Our report finds that foreign fishing, much of it illegal, takes three times as much fish as Somalis do. As a result, nearly half of the fish groups we analyzed are unsustainable at current fishing levels. Shark populations are particularly vulnerable to overfishing. Our report shows the most common commercial fishes are at maximum fishing capacity. However, there is room to expand in a sustainable fashion the catch of forage fishes like sardines and anchovies. Right now, Somali fisheries are on a brink, and significant improvements in data collection, monitoring, and enforcement could help ensure the sustainability of Somali fisheries.